guys and welcome to this video. So in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you my top five favorite drugstore contouring products and for those of you that are new to my channel I also have a playlist with a bunch of other top five favorite videos that I created so I will link that down below. I basically talk about my top five favorite products from every drugstore category and if there's not one in that list that you would like for me to create then just let me know down in the comments below. And for those of you that are not new to my channel I've decided that I'm going to do a Q&A video because I've been seeing more and more comments down in the comment section with questions about more like my personal life and questions about my name, what I do, things like that. So if you guys are curious, just let me know your questions down in the comments below or Snapchat me. I check Snapchat quite a lot and I'll be screenshotting any questions you guys send there. And I also check Twitter, Instagram comments. So wherever is easiest for you, just go ahead and send me your questions and I'll incorporate as many as I can in my Q&A video, which I'll probably have up in the next couple of weeks. If you're like, I don't care, just stick to makeup, feel free to skip that video and don't ask any questions. But for those of you that are interested in who I am and and what I do and whatever else you're curious about, definitely send me your questions and we'll get to know each other a little bit better. But with that, let's go ahead and get into my top five favorite contouring products. Okay, so this first one I've mentioned several times before, so this is not going to be a surprise, but I have to put it in this video because it's amazing and only $6. And it is the e.l.f. contouring palette. So the packaging on this is actually really great, even though mine is very dirty and gross right now because it is so well loved. And this is the light to medium version. They also have a medium to dark version, but I've seen on their website, I don't personally own that palette, but on their website it appears that two of the shades are shimmery. So let me know down in the comments below if you do have a deeper skin tone and you've tried the other version of this one and whether or not it's worth trying. I think we can all share our thoughts with one another. I can only speak to this one because I don't personally own the other one. But as far as this one goes, I love it. This contour shade is like that perfect ashy cool tone brown to really get those cut contours and make it look like real shadows. Whereas this one is a nice warm shade to kind of warm up the rest of the skin, bronze up the skin, but it's also matte as well. And then this is a great banana powder. This reminds me of any banana powder you could get in one of the high-end palettes like the Kat Von D or the Anastasia Beverly Hills banana powder. This one is so soft, finely milled, and it does a great job of either setting concealer or highlighting after you've set your concealer with a translucent powder. And then this shade right here is supposed to be the highlighter. I'm not personally a huge fan of this shade. It's a little bit chalky for my taste, but I will sometimes use it for an inner corner highlight or a brow bone highlight if I'm in a pinch. But the other three shades and the price point of this palette make it 100% worth it, so highly recommend this one. Okay, next up is a relatively recent find for me, but it has quickly, quickly gone to the top of my list and it is the Catrice Prime and Fine Professional Contouring Palette. This again comes in light to medium and medium to deep. I mention that because I appreciate when palettes offer more of a shade range, even if it is only two. So I'd recommend this one specifically to those of you with very fair skin. This contour shade plays really, really nice with fair skin. It's one of the best that I've found. And the actual formula is so, so creamy. There's absolutely no fallout, which I appreciate because it doesn't waste any of the product or make a mess when you're using it. And it does a beautiful job of creating that subtle contour contour, at least on my skin tone, it looks very subtle because this is a very similar shade to my skin tone, but it's not too ashy to where you can't use it as a bronzer. So that's what I really like about it. It's kind of your two in one if you're not going to go through the contour and then bronze and you're going for more of an everyday look and you want that two in one, this is perfect for that. And then this highlighter is actually really, really nice. This is much better than the highlighter in the e.l.f. contouring palette I just talked about. It's much more pigmented, it's less chalky. I like the formula of it better, but I will say it is very subtle. This isn't for those of you that want that blinding highlight. It's going to be a good, everyday, subtle highlight. But the formula for the price on this one is out of this world, so I 100% recommend this. Okay, so this next one is a go-to of mine. It's been a favorite for a very long time, and I highly recommend it. It is the Wet n Wild contouring palette. So it comes with two different shades in the palette and you get plenty of them. You've got this contour shade which reminds me a lot of the Catrice one but it's a tad bit warmer. So this is again great for that two-in-one contour and bronzer. The formula of this is so silky and creamy. It's absolutely amazing. And then this highlighter is beautiful. It does an amazing job of highlighting the under eye area or any other parts of the face you want to highlight. So I would say if you are looking for a contour palette that has a contour 
contour shade and a matte highlighter, this is the way to go. If you're looking for a contouring palette that has a contour shade and a shimmery highlighter, the Catrice one is the way to go. And again, this does come in two different shades. I actually have both of the shades here with me. I would say if you're deeper than me, you would want to go with the Caramel Toffee. In this one, you get a little bit deeper of a contour shade and then a little bit more of a yellow undertone with the highlighter, which looks really, really beautiful on deeper skin tones. Okay, so this next palette I got at a store called Five Below. For those of you that aren't familiar with that store, basically everything in there is under $5 or exactly $5. The makeup in there is sometimes really gimmicky and cheap feeling and it's just terrible quality. And then other times you can find some real gems. And this was one of the gems that I found there. And it is the City Color Collection Contour Palette on the go. So it comes with six different shades. You've got two highlighters, two kind of bronzers, and then two contour shades. I personally never reach for this row. It's a little too warm for me. I always reach for this row. So you've got a little bit more of a champagne highlight. You've got a warm but subtle bronzer and then a really ashy cool tone contour shade. This is what I'm wearing on my face right now. So these two shades are shimmery shades whereas these four are matte. I also found that they sell these rows individually in these City Color Contour Effects palettes. So it's just kind of a larger version of the same product with only one of the rows. Of course, I accidentally bought the row that I never use. But if you can get your hands on the other version of this palette, that's a great one as well. But if you want the larger selection of colors for the same price tag, both of these are $5, then go with this one I'm mentioning because I do sometimes reach for this one for an inner corner highlight or a brow bone highlight. But what I will say is that these are incredibly pigmented, so a little bit goes a very, very long way. Don't load up your brush and then apply these. You want to tap off the excess, make sure you're barely dipping your brush in, and these will last you forever because you need hardly any. Okay, and this last one is the priciest of the bunch, and it is the Physician's Formula Bronze Booster. This retails for $14, I believe, and it comes with three different shades. These two shades are amazing this kind of banana highlighter and this perfect ashy but not too dark contour shade. This might be one of my favorite contour shades out of all of the ones that I've mentioned. This one, however, I don't really reach for very often. It can look muddy very quickly. And this also does come with a mirror and a brush. The downside, obviously, is the price point on this one. It's a little bit on the pricier side, as well as the color selection. They only came out with this one version of the palette, so there isn't something for deeper skin tones, which is crazy to me. But if you have a light to medium skin tone, definitely give this a shot. The reason I could justify the price point for me personally is because I have very sensitive acne prone skin and when I was going through the height of my acne I needed things that were not going to irritate my skin whatsoever and if every contour product you've tried breaks you out along your cheek definitely give this one a try because it's hypoallergenic paraben free oil free fragrance free all of the good things it will not irritate your sensitive skin so some physicians formula products are a little bit overpriced but this one is one of the ones that I can justify the price point for because it did not irritate my skin when it was going through a period where everything irritated it. Definitely one of the best on the market, although I wish they would come out with more shades. So that is going to be it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to leave me all of your questions and down in the comments below or Snapchat me. All of my social media info will be down in the description box as always. And don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and click that subscribe button if you enjoyed it. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.